Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQLite tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can work with multiple SQLite databases at the same time. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have actually two databases. One is called school.db and one is called oracle.db. So I will try to work with these two databases at the same time. So first of all, let me just go to my command prompt and launch SQLite. So first I will just run the command SQLite tree. Okay. So if I execute the command databases, I will get nothing because I didn't connect with any databases. Okay, so now let's try first to connect to this school.dp database. So here I will use the command attach. So I will attach database and I will give the actually the path to the file of the database. So here it's on my desktop, so I didn't want, so I don't need to provide a path. So I will just write the name, which is school.dp. Okay. And I will add the keyword as, and here I can name it whatever I want. So for example, let's name it dp1, which means uh, our first databases that we have attached to. Okay, so now we have connected with our first database. So let's do the same with our uh, Oracle database. So I'll just change the name to Oracle here. And I will give it as name DP2. Okay, so now if I execute the command dot databases, You can see that I have two databases running or I'm connected with two databases here. One is school and one is Oracle. So if I execute the common tables, which will show me all the tables that I have. So here I have the tables belonging to DB1, which is department, students and tests and the table belonging to actually DB2, which are employee here and the department. Okay, so now I can execute my SQL queries as I want. For example, if I want to show all the records from the department or from students from DP1, all I have to do is to write a query, select all from, but I have here to provide the name of my DP, which is DP1 dot students okay and here we go we have all the records from our db1 i can also do the same for db2 for example let's show all the employees and the table employee in db2 so all i have to do is to change the name of the db and also the name of the table Okay, and here we go, we have all our employees for the DP2. So now I can work with these two databases at the same time. So for example, I can copy some data from DP1 to DP2 or merge some data from DP1 and DP2. Okay, I can even execute a join or a union from tables from both databases. So it's a very nice feature that exists in SQLite that allows you to work with multiple databases at the same time. As always, that was just an introduction and I hope it was informative for you and I want to thank you for watching. Bye bye.